Nightline takes you inside the mind of a white supremacist. We're racist. White power. He's the new face of hate. Our generation is primed for this revolution. And now he's going on a cross-country trip, spreading his message. I see the cataclysmic end to this empire is fast approaching. Think that's all ancient history? They deserve a uh, short drop with a tight rope around their neck. Think again. Do you consider yourself a racist? Sure. So what? I call it natural. Being a racist is natural. Loving one's people is natural. Yes, Matt loves his people and he loves his country too. You see, for him, this land is his land. I would say that my ancestors' sacrifices for this soil have, have made it mine to a certain extent. But every American can make that claim. There are blacks, Hispanics, Muslims who shed blood for this nation. So that's not unique uh, to uh, white people. I, I would say this nation's founding. No, that's not debatable, the point I just made. That is fact. The fact is, Matt says publicly what many may think privately. Gay marriage shouldn't happen. He's tapping into a growing and frightening discontent in America. The day of the rope is coming! Like power! In the last decade, the number of hate groups has nearly doubled, 602 to 1,007, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. If what Matt Heimbach's peddling sounds familiar to you, it is. Of a reverse discrimination against white people. Remember David Duke? The former Grand Wizard of the KKK, state representative from Louisiana. Duke and Matt met at last year's Stormfront Convention. Think of it as an annual retreat for white supremacists, where Matt was a speaker. So our generation is primed for this revolution. He's also been a guest on Duke's internet radio show. This new generation that's coming up is seeing all the sacrifices that men like you and countless others made, and we're just trying to carry the torch. <laughs> Do you see a young David Duke and Matt Heimbach? If you combine honesty, sincerity with intelligence, I think he has the potential to be quite an effective leader for these ideas. For those who would dismiss Matt, who would dismiss you as men stuck in the past, you say what? I say with the future. Trad Youth Network's here to stay. And how does Matt see the future? It's just to separate. Where there's no ill will, there's no hostility, we can still trade, you can get a visa. A visa to visit in Matt's world, white Christians in the South, Jews in New York, blacks in Detroit, you get the picture. I would say that your neighborhood would need a man of your stature. But I like white people, man. I'm cool with living next to white people. But for those who'd rather not live with other cultures, Matt's launching a nationwide college recruitment campaign. Forget the crosses and the hoods. The cross is an inspiration. He's on a cross-country road trip to form, get this, white student unions. It started at his alma mater, Towson University, then on to Indiana University in Bloomington. Coming up this spring, George Mason in Virginia, Indiana State in Terre Haute, and American University in D.C. Every other group is allowed to love their race, advocate for the best interests of their race. There's no reason why whites shouldn't. And what was the best interest of the white student union, you think? We did a, a series of safety patrols because what we saw... Because? Well, because of the, uh, the amount of crime we saw, especially black on white crime. But as I understand, according to the local police, Towson was the safest campus in the Maryland University system. It was. But facts don't dissuade Matt from continuing to spread his message. Here at Indiana University, Matt and his pal, Ku Klux Klansman and college student Thomas Buells, are gearing up for some campus recruiting. Nearly 15 years ago, at this very same school, a white supremacist, Benjamin Nathaniel Smith, went on a two-day shooting spree, eventually killing himself. And I'll be damned if I can't come on campus and speak out in defense of what I believe in. Do you not like black people? That's a ridiculous question. But I can be a member of the Klan and not hate anybody. But that's hard to reconcile with those posters that appear to call for the lynching of blacks and Jews. So armed with their posters and their faith, Matt and his posse are ready to meet the public outside a campus bookstore, hoping for recruits they find resistance. But good friends Aaron and Elijah, we learn later, make the biggest impression. Hello friends, are you racist? I love my people. I want to be around people who are like myself. Why do you want us to be seven? Because I believe that's the way that society is most productive. Are you doing this because you, you believe that black people are dangerous? I don't think you guys are dangerous. One of the things that just made me sad is talking to those two young boys. And that made you sad? If something were to break out in terms of a race-based conflict, there are so many that are within the pro-white movement who would say that those young boys basically uh, 
would, would be targets. They it's should be killed. Yeah. Killed by those more radical than Matt because of the color of their skin. See, when you dig a little deeper, you learn that separation of the races will not be sufficient. Matt believes only an all-out race war and extermination campaign will solve society's problems. Don't you see how your, your path eventually leads to violence? God willing, it won't, but some things are worth fighting for. And the two find common cause and a common enemy, corporate America. Why don't we hang a couple of bankers instead of a couple of random white people? Well, I think we're finding common ground. Would you shake my hand on saying we need to get rid of the international elites? I sure will. And that's why I can work with, for instance, with a black nationalist. I can't stand working with white people that are traitors. And I, I see only one place for them. And that is? In a ditch. And Ajabu agrees with Matt's vision of the future. After the races separate, after their common enemies are dealt with, it'll finally be time to deal with each other. I will gladly sign on a piece of paper for every one of yours we kill. We're going to have a system of one for one. Let's just do it and get it over with.